the paste attributes feature in Adobe Muse makes styling elements such as text, images, and widgets much, much quicker to achieve. Let's take a look at this productivity enhancement in action. I'm here in Adobe Muse, and the first thing I want to focus on is applying some text styling as I'm working. You'll notice on the left-hand side, the text looks pretty well styled. The content on the right does not have any styling applied yet. So the first thing I'll do is click on the word Kava and open up the text panel. In the panel, you'll notice I've defined a typeface, a point size for that typeface, and a color. I've also defined tracking or the spacing between letters, as well as letting or line spacing. I want all of these attributes to carry over, so I'll close out that panel. And with the word Kava still selected, I'm going to bring up the right menu and select Copy Attributes. I'll then go to the Destination object, select it, and in the right menu, select Paste Attributes. Now let's say, for example, I wanted most of those attributes to carry over, but some parts I didn't necessarily want to apply. If I undo the styling that I've just applied, with the object still selected, in the right menu, instead of selecting Paste Attributes, I can select Paste Selective Attributes. Now this dialog lists all the different types of attributes that may be applied from a source object to a destination object. Now that's going to be very specific to the object. If it's text, you'll see text attributes. Um, there are graphic styles like fill, stroke, effect, and scroll effects. There's also hyperlink, individual states, and state transitions. It's all going to depend on, again, the source object and the destination object. In this instance, I don't want to apply the uppercase change to my destination object, so I'll uncheck that. And when I click OK, it's carried over all the attributes, but notice that the upper and lower case styling here is still applied. Let's take this a bit further and combine both graphic styles and text styles. Down towards the bottom here, I have some text blocks. And the block includes some text, but it also has a stroke to the text container and a fill color. I can come in here, select that source object, right click to select copy attributes, and I'll shift select the two containers here, right click and paste attributes. Now notice that it applied the fill color and the stroke. It also applied the text styling, but it applied that initial style to everything in this container. That's OK. It still gets me in the right direction. I can now come in and just select, for example, the word with the subtext that I like. I'll right click to copy those attributes. And I'll come in and quickly apply that to the subheads. I also want to apply the pricing styling here. So I'll come in and select that pricing style and copy it. And I'll come to the destination text, paste the attributes. Notice that it applied the line height as well as the right justify to that price object. Let's go just a little bit further and apply some of this to images. So I'm going to come in and place four images. Let's say one, two, three, four. I'll click Open. And I'll press and drag to add these thumbnails into my design. All right, with those pretty well set, I can come to the first image, and I'll apply some graphic styles. Let's say I want to have rounded corners on two sides at about 50 pixels in diameter. I may also want to apply a stroke here, let's say a red stroke at about 3 pixels in thickness. And uh, just to make it a bit fun here, under Effects, I'll come in and apply a drop shadow at a distance of about 4 pixels and a percentage of about 30%. Now that I've got that set, I just come on in, select my source content, and select Copy Attributes, my destination, and right click to select Paste Attributes. Now, as I mentioned, this feature can apply differently to different objects as you're working with them. I encourage you to experiment on your own and give the new capability a try.